Even the pizza's like, ah, no! <laughs> That's not how you eat a pizza. Cheers! So, Tori, mm -hmm. would you say that you have a particular way to eat pizza? Oh my god, yeah. With the ranch, not with a fork and a knife, if, if that's where this is going. Well, today we are bringing in people from different generations to do a little social experiment. All right. We've heard that people have very different and specific ways of eating different foods. So today, we want to explore how people eat one of the most popular foods in the world, Pizza. Pizza, dude. But before we show you some of the most popular ways, we wanted to see how you tackle a slice of pizza. Oh, gosh. Okay, on camera, this is great. All right, bring in the pizza. Ooh, this is good pizza. You just fill your cheeks, that's all you do. Just... For this one, I'd probably do a little keep on folding and make it into like a little pizza taquito. I know there's a New York way where you fold the pizza, but this isn't a massive slice, so you just eat it from the tip. Uh -huh. Well, now that we know how you eat your pizza, we're gonna check out 10 ways people eat a slice of pizza, according to this Yahoo article that we found. Then you'll try each of these ways out for yourself and tell us what you think. All right, let's do it. All right, I am up for the challenge, my dude. Number one, the fork and knife. Wait, it's you! No! Now, as you'll see, because I'm not a monster, I'm going to use my left hand to use the fork to brace the pizza. I use my left hand? Oh, wait, maybe I should. Slice. Now that I have my piece of pizza, I'll use the fork. Hmm. Very English of you. Only reason to ever eat pizza like that is you don't want to get your fingers greasy. I feel like the Queen of England would, would use a fork and knife to eat pizza. If you eat a pizza with a fork and a knife, just know, I love you, but like, you're doing it wrong. So this is called the fork and knife. It's very common in places like Italy where pizza is not traditionally served pre-sliced or with pizza styles like deep dish that are kind of harder to pick up. Okay, those are valid reasons. <laughs> pizza like this, you don't need a fork and knife for. Are you ready to try this out? Let's do it. I know I just like judge this hardcore, but I've definitely done this. Nothing about this feels weird, because I had already done stuff like this before. Oh my God, it's unnecessary. The whole point of pizza is to like eat it with your hands, you could be on the go. I don't find it weird. I would find it weird if I'm getting delivery that's just a thin crust. You're like, oh, do you have a fork and a knife? I know a lot of people who do this, but would I do it? No, I just want to eat the pizza. Number two, the fold in half. It's not a paper airplane. You don't fold pizza. Now the trick with the fold in half is to try to get it right. Oh, that's like the taco. The that's gonna. I've make done it that before. Just to kind of take a nice bite here. It's true. It's a classic. Yep. Mm -hmm. Taco pizza. So it's called the fold in half. It's a popular method in places like New York City, but it is used throughout the world. Yeah, I like it. I use it sometimes, like if there's like a bunch of toppings on something, I'll probably do it. This is a huge like East Coast thing. New York loves doing it. I've seen a lot of people in Boston. It's with thinner pizzas they do it. All right, you ready to try this one? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. All right, ooh, that was not in half. Mm-hmm. I feel like the cheese in the sauce isn't getting on my tongue. I would eat it this way, yeah. I don't mind this one as much because it's, you're still eating the pizza, you're just folding it a little bit. Number three, the pinch hold. The pinch hold? Now the tricky part about the pinch hold is that it's you the want same to thing as the fold, dude. Good spot to pinch it, and you're just gonna try to. It's just like too complicated. Right in the middle, just like that. Uh huh. And one that gives you a good way to brace it, and it also <laughs> brace it for what? For impact? The grease kind of run off down the middle of the slice. I feel like this is t like people teaching people how to like fold diapers. Just, it's, it's a piece of pizza, just hold it. All right, so that way is just called the pinch hold, which is also sometimes known as the half fold. Half fold, just commit. All right, go for it. All right, let's get this, oh, I gotta get the right pinpoint, you know? I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. Now I'm thinking about it. I don't know why, I've never thought about why my instinct is to do it like this. Look at the pizza, now it just flops down. I think I'm doing this wrong. Who wants to eat the straight grease? I think it's a good idea if you want the grease to flow down, but just like not to necessarily eat it. It's not something that I go for or go to, but I've done it like this, I see nothing wrong with this. Like I said, I think I do it more of when there's more toppings so that they don't fall off the pizza, they fall into the pizza. Number four, the inside out fold. What are you gonna do, take the cheese off and put it on the other side? Excuse me? Now the inside out fold is exactly like the fold. No. opposed to doing it this way. I feel like I'm watching a nail tutorial. Fold the pizza. I've never seen this done. Inside out, like so. What? If you no, fold but... down the sides, that's Why would you do that? Fold. Nobody does that. And you just take a bite. There's no reason to do this. 
That's just not sane. You're gonna hold the piping hot grease and cheese in your hand? All right, you can try this one out. Okay. Go like. I have to like maneuver this. Okay, sure. Ew. I still get though. You just hear it. Even the pizza's like, ah, no. <laughs> I don't agree with this one. It makes our hands all nasty. If anything, the most messy way to eat pizza so far. This one is a little too cheesy for me. <laughs> Number five, the stacker. Ooh. Now the key for the stacking is to really make sure you line up your oh, two slices. Oh, okay. Now, so cheese to cheese is what we're working with. It's easier if you have two with. similarly sized slices of pizza, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. You're just looking oh to line up. Oh my god, this is chaotic. Them. So now that you have your pieces stacked one wow. on the, the other, you'll just take a bite. It's a pizza it's sandwich. To note. That, when that reminds me of burger, sure but like looks dishes. disgusting. Bottoms up. These are the kids that drink Monster Energy. Wow, expertise right here. So we demonstrated it cheese to cheese, but it can be done with one slice right on top of the other. Which, fun fact, John Travolta does in the intro for Saturday Night Fever. Mmm, okay. I mean, that's got, he's got some clout. This is just so you put more pizza in your mouth at once. You wanna try it? Even if you take a small bite of that, it's just like too much pizza at once. It's like a not so good calzone. Yeah, I feel like the grease is just going on to the bottom one. Okay, that's amazing. That's beautiful. It's two pizzas in one, and all of like the sauce and the cheese go right into your mouth. This is a very efficient way to eat an entire pizza by yourself. And after shotgunning a nice monster energy, you just wanna, you just really wanna down a pizza? Hell yeah. Number six. Backwards. No. No, no we're one. not eating it from the crust. You would normally eat a slice of pizza like this. Oh, no, I no. know this method. No, no. No, no. Turn it around backwards and start at the crust. No. Like so. Oh, start from the crust? I just don't agree with this. It's disrespectful. That's not how you eat a pizza. So this way is called backwards, mm -hmm. where you literally just eat the slice backwards. It is a little tougher to hold, but it can be helpful if the front of the slice is too hot, mm. or if you're just feeling a little crusty. Yeah. All right, let's try this one out. Yes, yeah, I got none of what I actually wanted. You know, sauce and cheese. I just get bread. You have to take a big bite if you want to get more than just bread. Ridiculous. Mother. Mm -mm. My teeth are weak. That's not my thing. What are you supposed to hold after you eat all the crust? You eat it backwards and then you're you're back holding the hot cheese and toppings. If you love both parts of the pizza, but you like this part more, it'd be like saving the best for last. What I think about pizza is the crust is the tiny little dessert. It's my favorite part. I'll have that at the end of my slice of pizza. Number seven, remove the toppings. No! This is the worst one so far. Now for this one, I only have cheese as my topping on my pizza, but that's okay. A lot of people are still cheese removers. So I'm just going to take the no, cheese. No, that's the only part that I like think makes a pizza. You can just put it on your plate. Some people save it for later. <gasps> Criminal. Some people save it for later. I don't judge. I like the very non-aggressive tone of this one. <laughs> I don't judge. So number seven is where people remove the toppings from their pizza. There's actually an entire Facebook page dedicated to people who eat the toppings before they eat the pizza. Why don't they just get a breadstick instead? This is actually fair, because when I was a little kid, I would eat sushi and I would take it all apart. I would eat the rice, then I'd eat the seaweed, and then I'd eat the filling. Go ahead, give it a try. You know what I do? So instead of like putting this aside and eating this, I would eat this. Again, that's just bread. This is so sad. Oh, oh, I feel like I'm dissecting it. Oh God. This is something kids do. I mean, if you're a grown adult and you do this, you need to check other facets of your life because there's some shit going wrong. Number eight, the pizza facial. It sounds like you're just gonna rub pizza on your face. Now for this one. What is this? I'm gonna need a paper towel. Oh, okay, are we dabbing the pizza? Usually just one will do it. You bunch oh, of I've done this before, actually. And this one's just okay. Gonna dab on the piece of pizza to get rid of some of the grease. I feel bad. The first thing I thought of when like dab so. was like the dance. Dab, dab, dab away. Dab away. Now, once you're satisfied with your dabbing and your grease amount, toss this guy away, <laughs> and you have a nice 
mostly grease-free pizza. Now, you're never going to get yeah. it completely grease-free. This is pretty close. I have done this. Pizza facial. I have done it a million times. Okay, at first I thought you were going to dab the grease and then put it on your face. And I was like, what in the world are people doing with their lives? So that way is known to some as the pizza facial, since it's similar to a facial and that you're getting rid of oil like you might on your face. Oh. But there are a lot of different ways to describe this method. Okay, I've definitely seen this. All right, you want to give that one a try? Sure. I remember seeing girls do this in kindergarten. I'm like, bro, you're five. Enjoy the pizza. Let me see if it tastes any different, though. Here's a, here's a test. Oh, yeah. That's so much better with the grease. I feel like the grease tastes better on it because it just makes the pizza more dry. This one I can get behind. Now that I'm doing it again, it might remind me to do it more. I used to do it, but now I'm like, ugh. Life's short. Eat a little bit of grease. Number nine, leave the crust. I'm not doing this. Now for this one, you're gonna have to eat the entire slice of pizza for me to be able to demonstrate what this one really means. So, hold on one second. I hope you do it all in one bite. Oh, never mind. <laughs> for a second, I thought we were gonna watch you eat a slice of pizza just all the way through. I thought we were gonna have a full on ASMR session of you just eating pizza. You eat like such a lady. Now, just like the name of the method dictates, now that I've eaten my slice of pizza, I will just... Ah, oh, that noise. Wasteful little child. My brother still does this. And I used to be like him, but then I learned if I'm still hungry, I'm gonna eat the crust. All right, so that method is called leaving the crust, which some do in order to be health conscious or just because they don't like the crust. Health conscious? I'm sorry, if you're health conscious, you're not eating a full slice of pizza and just leaving a little strip of bread. I'm, I'm watching my figure, so I didn't eat the, t the one tenth of the crust. All right, go ahead. There you go. Ready? Yeah, malicious. I love people that do this because I'm like, pass it over. But for me to be that person, I just don't think I can. And finally, number 10 is just plain old regular eating the Yay. pizza. Yay. I'll demonstrate. I'll demonstrate. Cheers. This is what we all need in our lives. Eat pizza normal. What? A journey this has been. So the final method is just plain old regular, picking it up and eating it. Although regular might mean different things for different people. No, I like the way we're defining this one as the normal regular way to do it, you hooligans. So show us you're picking it up and eating it. Delicious. Look, it's just a pizza pizza. You grab it by the crust as you should. You just take a bite. Mmm. That feels right. I'm realizing it pretty much all tastes the same, but I think I like this way the best. I like number 10 best. Once in a while, I'll maybe stack it from now on. So finally, what do you think this says about people that there are so many different ways to eat one single type of food? I think everybody's different and everyone prefers different flavors within the pizza and I think that that's cool. I think it's really special that humans can enjoy the same meal in different ways. I have always known, but I never really like grasped how many weirdos we have in the world. Thanks for watching this cheesy episode of The Tens. Shout out to Money Race. Hit the notification bell for better videos every day. How do you eat your pizza? Let us know in the comments. Hey guys, it's Sierra, producer here at FBE. Thanks so much for watching this cheesy episode of The Tens. Be sure to subscribe here, but also subscribe to the React channel to see all the reactors gaming, competing, and so much more. Bye guys.